the global stage. Hi, I want to welcome you to the global stage. Let's talk about uterine fibroid. And in this video, I'm going to give you the natural remedies to deal with a uterine fibroid. We have already talked about the risk factors of uterine fibroid and why you must avoid them in the first place. Check that video out if you have not watched it yet in my playlist titled Health and Nutrition on my channel. Now, there are three most important things I should let you know concerning a uterine fibroid. Number one is every woman should have their hormones tested routinely at most twice in a year. Remember, I talked about the two hormones responsible for a uterine fibroid and the result of a hormonal test will pre-inform you about your fate. Number two, one major risk factor for developing a uterine fibroid is weight gain and in the higher extremity, obesity. So the more you put on weight, the more you invite trouble. That is in terms of a uterine fibroid or developing a uterine fibroid or even growing your fibroid into a bigger size. And lastly, African Americans and Africans are more likely to develop a uterine fibroid than Caucasian women because of genetic factors. Now, let me explain this third point. You see, there is no special gene that is found in a Caucasian woman that is not found in the black woman or the African American woman. The reason for the genetic factor is because of what you eat. Remember what you, you are, what you eat. And so when you look at the diet of the Caucasian woman, they, they contain a lot of vegetables, a lot of the greeny vegetables, unlike the African woman or the African American woman. And so because of you, because you are what you eat, what you eat has an impact on your genes. And because they are exposing their bodies to a lot of these greeny vegetables, it has given them this protection against uterine fiber. That is why you, you, you find in the population of, of Caucasian women, less of them have uterine fiber than in the black woman. Because with the diet of the black woman, it contains less of the vegetables. And then also, they pass on this lifestyle to their offspring. For the Caucasian woman, they pass on their lifestyle in terms of diet. So you see they are truly eating a lot of the vegetables, unlike the African woman or the American African woman. And that is why you see a lot of uterine fibroid cases in the American African woman or the African woman because of genetic factors, which is based on the diet. Remember, you are what you eat. And that is why the third point is very important. So if you don't want to develop a uterine fibroid or you don't want to have your children, that is your daughters, ever having a uterine fiber. Now you have to start inculcating in them the habit of eating a lot of the greeny vegetables because you are what you eat and what they eat at that early stage has an impact on their genes as they grow older and that will help them develop a resistance against ever having a uterine fiber in the first place. So that is the third point I'd like you to know. It's very important. So we may not be able to change your genetic coding but we can change how your body handles these genes in terms of causing you to, to have fibroid or if you have fibroid in the first place, what you must do hopefully to get rid of them or to influence your genes positively so you don't cause any further growth. And the first thing is to go back to the foundation and that is where your diet comes in as I gave you in the third point. But you see, it is a little bit of a stretch to think that just by eating a certain food, you can shrink your fiber. It doesn't happen like that. It has to be in combination with so many factors like what we discussed in our previous video. And so remember the saying, you are what you eat. So once you modify your diet and make the necessary life, lifestyle changes, they will help you reduce your fiber risks or growth or even shrink the tumor if you have it. So your diet is the number one thing you need to look at if you don't want to get a fiber or if you have it what to do to shrink it or to prevent for that group is to look at your diet because you are what you eat in the first place so let's look at what you must do to help with your fiber or to deal with your fiber so i'm going to give you the best natural remedies of foods to consume to reduce a fiber prevent further growth and these foods contain various phytonutrients that decreases inflammation fibrosis, tumor angiogenesis, and promote hormonal balance. So we are working around these four factors that promote fibro good. Number one is inflammation. Number two is tumor angiogenesis. Number three is fibrosis. And number four is hormonal imbalances. So what are these foods or what are these natural remedies? Number one is cruciferous vegetables. 
such as radish, brussels, tunips, arugula, cabbage, kills, broccoli, cauliflower, and these compounds inhibit formation of fibroid caused by excess estrogen. So they contain a lot of uh, they, they contain active compounds called endothrecabinol and they inhibit the formation of fibroid caused by excess estrogen. You see, you have to consume a lot of the green vegetables if you want to deal with your uterine fibroid and make it part of your lifestyle. Remember what I told you about the Caucasian women? They eat a lot of their green vegetables. That is why they have a less risk of developing a uterine fiber because these green vegetables contain what we call endothrate carbonyl and they inhibit the formation of fiber caused by excess estrogen. So that is the first one, cruciferous vegetables. Then you have berries, turmeric, whole grains and their products and whole grains contain a lot of the fiber and their balance of hormones so go for so go for whole grains don't go for the refined grain okay then you have dry fruits such as the nuts then garlic tomatoes onion shallot and you see tomatoes onions shallots they should be eaten raw or steamed a bit i'm not referring to when you prepare your stew or your soup the best is to go for vegetable salads because with all this, you could get all the balanced foods and you don't lose the active components in these vegetables. That is the onion, the tomatoes, and the garlic. The heat don't destroy the compounds in them. So either you, you eat them raw or it is steamed a little bit to retain the active component. That is, I'm talking about the onion, the tomatoes, and the garlic, okay? Go for the dry fruits, the whole grains, the berries, and the turmeric as well. We have the green tea, very powerful tea for reducing your risk of getting a fibroid. Then we have lentils. Lentils have low glycemic index and they discourage inflammation. So lentils are very good for your fibroid. Then we have apple. If you're a woman who is suffering from uterine fibroid, one of the things I always recommend for you to eat, to take on daily basis is apple. Apple contains flavonoids and they block estrogen production, therefore reducing your risk of getting a fibroid or even shrinking the already existing fibroid. So go for apple every day okay then we have the oily fish oily fish contain omega-3 fatty acids and vitamin d then we have peppermint and the vitamin a and vitamin d they also help reduce tumor angiogenesis and also inflammation which helps reduce your fiber then there's yoga very important and lastly intermittent prolonged fasting there's been a lot of research done on this intermittent prolonged fasting which helps shrink your fiber okay so you need to do a lot of intermittent prolonged fasting if you're a woman who suffers from uterine fiber that will help reduce your uterine fiber so from researches these are the natural remedies that help decrease your fiber from better growing or even reduce your risk of ever getting a fiber even shrink it if you have a fiber in the first place okay and as you increase in age that is heading towards menopausal stage the risk also reduces even during menopausal stage and they tend to shrink on their own or with no further growth because your estrogen, le your estrogen level goes down drastically so that is a bit of a good news okay and again you have to be patient if you want in the natural way the magic won't just happen overnight this is the end of our discussion kindly like this video so youtube pushes this video to many people as possible the more likes we get, the more YouTube pushes this video to many people as possible, okay? So give us a like, tap that like icon you see on your screen and then also bring in your, your contributions, your questions, your suggestions, anything you, you, want, you, you want to find out or tell us, put them under the comment section of this video. Don't send it to me personally, okay? Put them there and I'll be glad to respond to you there so that, so that other, other people can also benefit from what you also shared or ask from there, okay? So this is the end of our discussion and share this video with all your loved ones especially the women hey jesus christ is the same yesterday today and forever god bless you the stage